socialism works for everybody. Does it? Yeah. Where where is socialism work? Where is socialism worked? You pay your income tax. Income tax is not socialist. It's not. No. Well, I think it's way too high, isn't it? Yeah, but socialism is where everybody pays in. Why don't you do you give more money than your income tax every year to the government? What? Do you give more than what the government asks you to give each year? Yeah, I do. I you do? Give a lot. You give more to the government? Yeah. So you give more than what the IRS asks you to give? Yeah. You do? Uh-huh. So you think that do you trust the government? I don't take all the deductions that I'm entitled to. So do you trust the government? For what? Of course I do. You do? Yeah. You trust the government that recklessly audits people they disagree with and runs inefficiently and has huge bureaucracies of nothingness? I'm a retired federal employee, so I used to work for the government. Which agency? Department of Agriculture. Okay. So do you think there's any waste in the food stamp allotment in the Department of Agriculture? Yeah, definitely. Oh, so you, you do think government is wasteful? Well, we have to do something. We're not perfect. Well, that's a horrible argument to spend trillions of dollars having to do something, isn't it? You just admitted you were you worked for the Department of Agriculture, which yeah. oversees the distribution of food stamps, right? Well, and you had actually what I did was I well, it, part of what the Department of Agriculture does I is did payroll. you did payroll for the Department of Agriculture. Well, for most of the government. Okay. You wrote seven hundred thousand paychecks twice a month. So, did you know of any government employees that were not very good at their job? I know a lot. Did they get fired? No, they hired contractors to do their work. So, but did the employee, the government employees, get fired? What? Some of them did. For not doing their job? Yeah. After, I find that very hard to believe. We had a lot of people that get fired. It's very hard under civil service protection to lose your job in it's a government very bureaucracy. Easy. Very you, difficult. If you go to the MSPB, you'll see that they have 90% approval rate for dismissing people. Do you they think government is too big? Yeah. Okay, then you and I are in agreement. We, we agree that there's inefficiency, and so that's that's our whole argument. I'm saying socialism is what our government's about. No, it's not. It's not. Part of the worst parts of it might be, but I, I reject those parts of government. What parts? Income tax, welfare? Yeah, that, that would be a good start. Food stamps are too much. Housing, urban development, Department of Education. What about social security? I don't think, I don't think young people should be forced into paying something we're not going to see. Social security annualized growth rates are lackluster at best. Yeah. The government takes seven percent of our generation's earnings to subsidize older Americans. Have you seen the homeless problem? That's have you seen people that sure. work for a living that are, have mental problems or Yeah, I mean I think there should be a safety net but not a hammock. That's, I think you'd agree with that. What what is what is what, define what you mean by socialism though, because I think um, we might be take uh, where everybody pays in together. Where everybody pays in for the common good. For the common good. So yeah. This university here, how many people could go to school here if it wasn't for the government paying for it? Nobody could pay for an education. If sure, there's private for... institutions that exist. Sure, there are. Yeah, but how do they work? Quite they well. Work because of donations. It's, they work on socialism also. So if, the, if your example of socialism is college tuition that rises every year, that is run widely inefficient, administrators that are unchecked, professors that should be fired, then you and I have the same definition of socialism, which is something that doesn't work. So here's the whole thing is, I think government is far too big. It's gone outside of its constitutional intent and authority, and market-based solutions are far better for the well-being of its citizens than government bureaucracies are. Yeah, but there are some things that have to be paid Of course, for no, I, I agree with that. Police, firefighters. Police? But wouldn't you agree it's better on a localized level than a nationalized level? Right. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so, that, so we agree. So localize more government programs. Don't federalize them. But you still have to have government. Level, you know, sure, I'm not an anarchist, and that's not socialism. Okay, but my point was that nobody here could go to school if they had to pay for all the costs. They do pay for it in tax. Somebody pays for it somewhere, whether it be taxes or the endowment or donations or tuition. Yeah, the alumni. You know who actually pays for school here? The taxpayers mostly. The sports program. Well, and taxpayers. It is a it is a publicly funded school, I would imagine, right? I mean, it's a state I have a school. Friend who is admitted to the graduate school at a full ride scholarship for two years as a graduate student mm -hmm. to study animation. Okay. So she wasn't paying a dime. But somebody paid for it. Yeah. At some point. See. Nothing is free. Somebody's paying for something at some point of the transaction. Right. If they had money, it was socialism that somebody paid for. 
a lot of people right so I, I don't I don't support that I don't support other people being able to live on the well-being of the forced extraction of wealth from others I believe for the paying of basic services such as police and fire roads and bridges on the most localized level possible as well as the national military do I believe in the Department of Education no Department of Labor no that's all socialism that's why I don't support it what, you don't believe that we should have roads? We should have private roads and people pay for them as they use them? No, I believe as localized as you possibly can be. The Department of Transportation is a mess. It's widely inefficient. It doesn't work well at all. Yeah, so I mean, you're making my argument for me. No, I'm not. I'm saying that, that we still have to have socialism, even if it isn't uh, okay, so you, you, effective. You your your example is social. So socialism is the government-run of, of, of social utilities, essentially. The government use or the, 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 the government monopolization of social utilities. And the worst parts of our society, such as the Veterans Administration, which runs horribly, is a socialist program. I mean, or whether it be our disaster public schools are a socialist institution. So that sucks. Public schools really suck. Yeah, and those are so those are quasi socialist government institutions. Yeah, but they're poorly run. They have they're poorly run because they're government run. So for example, do you think Catholic schools or government schools run better? Hmm? Do you think Catholic schools or government schools run better? I think Catholic schools are much better. I agree. So that, that's a private institution. But that's because people contribute to the church and the church gives the money out and the they don't price the money. price per pupil to educate a student in a Catholic education in the state of Louisiana is about eight thousand nine hundred dollars a year. The public education system is about $14,000 per year. Yet the Catholic education is a much higher quality, much more likelihood to go to college, much more likelihood to stay out of gangs, whereas the, the public education is the exact opposite. But what you're confusing is qualified, capable public administrators who are pretty much elected by how much money they spend. As opposed yeah, to, I, no, I agree with that. Yeah, I mean, that's my critique. As opposed to people who are dedicated to their job. Right, that's why we need more private institutions such as Catholic schools. So you're, uh, we're in agreement here that the most dysfunctioning parts of our society are based in government control and the misallocation of resources. Yeah, by the fact that we have really incompetent administrators. But, but administrators will always be incompetent because they're run in, a, in an incentive structure that does not require competence for them to keep their job. That's why markets work, because the incentive structure is for good ideas to continue and the lack thereof will be the termination of their services or people will stop will stop going there. So what happens to the people who are incompetent who can't do a job, who can't work? Should they be thrown out the street? Should they no, they should be taken care of by churches and community members and individuals. So, no, 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 that's not, that's voluntarism. There's a difference between socialism and voluntarism. Giving money to church is not socialism. A synagogue helping poor people is not socialism. A mosque doing a food shelter, that's, volunt that's voluntary charitable transaction. Socialism is the involuntary extraction of wealth to, to fund social utilities. But anyway, these charities are run by groups who accept contributions. Individuals, though. Individuals that are all voluntary. Socialism is involuntary. Yeah, you have to work together as a, as a culture. You no, know, but someone could leave the church. You can't leave the government extracting wealth from you. There's a difference. You can leave the country, too. Of course you can. That. Yeah. Well, so, some no, actually, you can't. Some socialist countries, you can't. In Cuba, they'll kill you. Yeah. <laughs> so you can't. What about the, Russia? What is Russia? Russia is a crony fascist dictatorship now. It is? It's yeah. Not a, it's not a republic? No. Russia is far from a republic. They might want to call them that, but they're a they're a plutocratic, crony, cronyist fascist dictatorship now. Putin is basically president for life. Their democracies are a sham. The oil, the oil and natural gas reserves are owned by an oligarchic, plutocratic class that is far from a market-based system. Capitalist. It's not capitalist, no. Cap you, know what, what, you know what the core part of capitalism is? A, a neutral court system that allows the adjudication of differences. Russia does not have that at all. No. No, their court system is a joke. Okay, but they do have a court system. No, that's right. As I said, it has to be a, a neutral based court system. That, that's a fundamental part of markets. Yeah, they do have socialized health care. Which does not work very well at all. Why not? Because socialized health care doesn't work. Well, why, why doesn't the program in Russia work? Because socialized health care doesn't work in, in general, and it definitely does not work in Russia. Yeah, but if you don't have any money and you get sick, you can go to a doctor just the same. Here, I need to have my eyes fixed, and I can't afford to go see a doctor. 
But if you walk into an emergency room, they have to take care of you. No, they don't. Yes, they do. It's called the Hippocratic Oath. They have to. Uh, no, they don't. They I've have to the, serve you. I've been to the hospital, you, the emergency room, and they went in, they ran some blood tests, determined I had a serious blood problem, and mm -hmm. they showed me the door. <laughs> in violation of the Hippocratic Oath. Well, what could I do? So what were you diagnosed with? I had a blood level pH of 6. Mm -hmm. And they said, there's nothing wrong with that. Let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. I went to my doctor and found out, yeah, this is very serious. Yes. So what, what would be the prescribed treatment of that? Well, but if they can't determine what it is, then a treatment can't be applied. Well, that's exactly that's what I'm trying to ask. I, you, if you can't figure out what's wrong with you, there's no treatment. No, tell me what's wrong with you. Then I could make you can make an argument. I mean, so how do you fix that? How do you fix that? That's because there's a lot of contributing factors to that. Some could be genetic. Some could possibly not be fixed through surgery or through treatment. No, how do you treat a bad pH level? That no one knows. There's, 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 there's widespread scientific disagreement on what would it be. It could be diet, it could be genetics, it could be, yeah, it could be all those sorts of things. But in Russia, they wouldn't have a special treatment for that any more than anyone else would. What's the treatment? What's the treatment? They have a hospital you go to. And you said you just went to the hospital and they didn't have a treatment. There's treatment here. We have better health care than they do in Russia, trust me. Okay. 